I love this time of the year. It's fun being Santa Claus. It's the one time of year where you're bringing stuff that people really always want. Hey, my name is Kathy Burton and I'm a letter carrier out of Lake Street Station in Minneapolis and I've been carrying mail for five years. My name's Kieran Hughes, delivered mail since 1978, third generation postal worker. Well, my you like? well, definitely my favorite part of the day is when I get out onto my route and I get to see my customers and working with the businesses and talking to them every day and making sure they have what they need and sure. seeing my favorite lady at the church who treats me every Tuesday to donuts and just all the fun people on the route. Yeah. You know, when I first started, I liked the indoor work. You'd be there three hours. But everything is so compressed now that the, the short amount of time, 90 minutes for, for me, it's always nice to have a little cushion on the route when you do come across someone that has a question or an issue. Even though we have the email service and all of the other te technology things that have come along, that's not the things that have ruined the post office. We still survived. You know, this pre-funding of the retiree health care benefits is really what's killing us. And isn't it funny, nobody else in the country has to do it. A $5.5 .5 billion payment a year before we even sell a single stamp. Right. You know, to pre-fund our retiree health care benefits. I mean, we're so far paid up. We're paid right. for 75 years, people that aren't even born yet. Right. The best analogy I've heard so far, it's like being required to pay a 30-year mortgage in three years. Well, Congress got us into this mess, and they, they're the ones that can get exactly. us out of it. It's up to them, so. Right. I mean, we, we, don't, we don't need Congress. We don't need tax money, right? Uh, we don't need know, a bailout. We don't need a bailout, and, and all we need is, you know, kind of a, a, a level playing field and, and some time to, to overcome the hole that's been dug by these payments. But well, we just have to keep pushing because, I mean, it's like the old saying, you won't miss a good thing till it's gone. Exactly. We can't let it get to that. We have to make sure that we keep the six-day delivery and the door-to-door -door delivery. It's infrastructure. Uh, you know, it's, it's not like it's, you know, something extra that you can do away with and we'll find another way. It's just unfathomable to me that the businesses aren't paying more attention to all these changes that the post office is proposing. I just can't imagine giving up door-to-door -door delivery. I mean, all the things that we do every day that the public's not even aware of, going in, helping the elderly with their bills and checking on someone. And This has really come to me when I've uh, delivered apartments with elderly people in particular, is the security. The idea that they might have to expose themselves with their, with their check or with their banking stuff you know, to go to the corner and walk. You know, some neighborhoods, are, it's, it's not, uh, you know, a nice thing to do. Especially the elderly and the disabled, like you talked about, they're so, sometimes we're the only people they see all day long. Yeah. And, you know, just to take that element out, it's yeah. just not doing, it's a disservice to the community.